So welcome back to Audio C Talent, and in this video we are going to be tackling this C7 Audi RS6 in Nagaro blue. I think that's how you say the name. It's a very nice blue. Let me show you around the car because it's absolutely filthy. So let's get it prepped up outside first, then get it inside and get polishing. So here it is, the Nagaro Blue RS6, which we're gonna be detailing in this video. I've just completed the full decontamination outside. Just the last step left is the clay part, which we're about to do now while the car's still wet. Look how similar, Nagaro Blue, it's Pang Blue. Granddad, baby son. That's my car, and if you didn't know, it does work at the moment, but it's getting fixed next week, hopefully, fingers crossed. It's been, been saying it's gonna get fixed next week for about four months, so we'll see what happens.
So you can see, not the worst car I've ever seen. This colour does hide a lot, so um, doesn't look like whoa, there's loads of marks in there. But the clarity we're gonna get, we're gonna gain by clearing them up is gonna be good. And definitely look forward to it because this colour is so nice. Just sit back. Um, well, well, yeah, just sit back. When I sit back and look at it, I'm like, oh, it's a nice bright blue. See, so you've got Sepang blue here. My car, slightly darker. It's, to be fair, it just looks like a more faded version of this. This is like a much more vibrant, brighter blue. Um, it's really nice. I really like it anyway. Slight sparkle in there. A bit like Sepang. It's got metallic flake in there. This has got a slight sparkle in there as well, but very difficult to see. It almost looks like a flat blue. But let's get tested on the polishing. So we'll do test combinations, see what best polishes or compounds work with the best pads to get the best results. Two stages on this one, and then all the coatings. Swirls, nice clean Nagara blue. Obviously, needs to come to the edge.
update. Dent man came. Two dents that we found in the car uh, were removed and that's the reason why the wheels are also still off is because he needed to, not on this side, but on the other side, get up into the arch and pop the dent out. I will show you the dents, but I forgot to film them, so now there's no dents to look at. You can see where one dent was, though, because there was a little scratch there. So we'll polish that out, but in the meantime, let's get those beautifully coated wheels back on the car so we can get down and do the roof. amongst you might have noticed my new door made that myself if you can't tell it's not the best fit uh, also painted the door little jobs that I've been waiting to do if you saw the unit video you'll know they're on my list anyway making my way along the car all this is done so far got to the rear quarter and my phone is going now what I was going to show you is this bird etching up here so that is a bird poop that has sat on the clear coat probably in the sun in the summer or maybe just in the winter for a long time and has made its own little mark. So time to cut that right out and clear that up and then work away for all these swells as well, which don't really show up that well on camera. Oh, well that, that work angle works a bit better, but we'll get into that now. Looks pretty good until you get to the very edge. So time to get the tiny polisher out. You can see all the marks almost removed, or almost all the marks removed. Just get that tiny polisher out to get right to the edge. Get that last mark off.
to let's make my face clearer uh see the clarity difference there just on a cut so that's not even refined that's just oh dear we are really out of focus here zoom out zoom out zoom out cool uh that's just from one cutting pass that you saw i might even try and do that all in one shot so you can see that that's genuinely the result of one cutting pass not even refined yet and that's come up really well lights always come up really well gloss black pillars and red tail lights or red tail lights americanism red rear lights cutting is now complete on the rs6 and i am halfway through the refinement process so if we i'll put halfway around the car refining it so just doing the driver's side now let's do it <laughs> i don't know what else i was going to say but nothing came out So here it is, after a full week's worth of work, the Nagaro Blue RS6 is complete. Looking completely stunning, this blue honestly comes out so well. Such a nice bright blue to have on camera. Um, and as always, super happy with how it's come out. Absolutely love these cars. Such a cool sort of everyday driver. Good excuse to have a V8 in your everyday driver. But yeah, 
I'll, uh, I'll get the after shots now, run around the car, get some photos, and then I'll see you in the next video. If you, if you liked it, please drop a like and subscribe if you're not already. Over and out, see you in the next one.